say the temperature on Earth will increase three to nine degrees centigrade by the end of this century. Every ten years, the Arctic Circle melts by nine percent and is slowly disappearing. Barrow is Alaska's northernmost city. It's situated in the Arctic Circle, facing the Arctic Sea. The city has extreme weather, and over 60 percent of the residents are Inuits. The frozen oil and ice layers visible on the sea all face the danger of melting away and disappearing. This indigenous group already faces the challenges of modernization. Now the climate change has further changed the Inuit's way of life. Spring and fall are the Inuit people's whirling seasons. This fall, eight to ten wells are caught in the barrel area. The Inuit culture centers around wells. My dad was a whaler. My grandfather was a whaler. My great-grandfather was one of the traditional whalers that apparently they, when they back then, they would put marks on their arms, tattoos, how many whales they've got. And I understand my great-grandfather had both arms filled up all the way to the back. For the Inuit living by the sea, hunting for large whales before the ocean freezes requires a lot of manpower. The freezing environment has nurtured a unique Inuit society and power structure. The captain is the leader of the tribe, leading the fishermen. He has the social responsibility for distributing the catch. The captain's wife leads the woman in cooking the well and preserving it. And then a whole well is distributed among the community. The villagers spend Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year together and have done so for thousands of years. Whaling is an important cultural tradition that unites the Inuits. Whaling on the frozen ice is also an important way of survival. However, things have dramatically changed over the past 30 years. That's our most severe impact is with the ice conditions, with the climate change. Not so much as the warming, because we like that. We want to stay warm too, but again, it affects the condition our Right now, we're about a month behind in a freezer, which we have, we're frozen now, but it's not, we don't know how long it will last, too. The Inuit rely on the frozen ocean for their living. They hunt for walrus and sea lions on the ice. But in recent years, the ice season has delayed and ice layers have also thinned out. The frozen ocean can no longer bear the weight of large machines and people. The hunters sense a change in the environment. Scientists stationed at Barrow to research climate change say this is proof that Earth is changing. Ice conditions, because it's uh, warmer during the winter, you actually get thawing and freezing, and this can form a very solid piece of ice over the lichen, which makes it harder for the caribou to actually uh, feed, so that are going to impact the people uh, of the Arctic. This year's whaling season has passed. No one is certain if there will still be 10 whales for the Inuit to hunt this fall. As the ice layers slowly melt away, the Inuit's fight against nature is no longer just with the prey, but also with climate change. TITV Weekly.